The wireless customer you are calling is not available. Oh. Please try again later. If I get a f***ing message machine, I swear to God. Son of a bitch! The customer you are calling is not available. Hi, I'm Leon, and this is a story about how I got scammed out of $9 by the godfather of empty motivational platitudes, Prince EA. So let me back up a second and I'll tell you how we got here. About a month ago, I caught wind that the legendary Prince himself, after years of bringing boomers to tears through his inspirational spoken word videos on Facebook, was starting his very own school. So for a long time, people have been asking me to create something other than video content, other than social media posts. And I truly didn't want to do that until I knew that I had something of deep and powerful value, 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 value to give value, to you. Value, and today, value. we just started the Prince EA Life School. Ahem. School. So as you know, school doesn't teach you everything you need to know to succeed in your life, in your relationships, and in your mindset. So I created my own school. And I'm eager to learn. Every Monday to Friday, I will send you personal messages from me sent straight to your phone. Wait, so when you say school, you mean you're just gonna send people motivational texts like five days a week and charge them $9 a month? Isn't that what motivational newsletters have been doing for decades, except they've been free? I don't, you know what, Prince, I'm kinda on the fence on this one. Messages will be filled with motivation, with life tips, with mindset tips. That is how you close a deal, ladies and gentlemen. Are you kidding me? Mindset tips? I, you should have led with that, bro. You can't put a value on mindset tips. And let me tell you, do you have an annual subscription? Because none of this month to month, just take that. I don't even want it anymore. So I did what anyone with half a brain would do, and I clicked the PrinceALifeSchool.com link in this description, and I signed up today. Okay. By the way, if your stubbornness was still casting any doubt on the value proposition here, <laughs> he inspires Queen Latifah, so... <laughs> Snail meat coffin. <laughs> just, just sign up already. So I entered my information, including my cell phone and my credit card, which I totally wasn't worried about giving up for this scam, but I did anyways for the sake of this video. I landed on a warm thank you page, and now all that was left to do was wait up to five minutes, and my life was about to change. And that is when things went south. But that confirmation text that I so desperately yearned for never came. And as minutes turned into hours, I couldn't help but wonder if I was destined for a life of mediocrity. Or if I could just contact the email address or phone number I got in their confirmation email and we could hash this out and I could get my shit up and running in a couple hours, maybe by tomorrow at the latest, right? Honest mistake on their part, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, how naive I was. And we're gonna talk about how that went, but first, let's refamiliarize ourselves with the Sultan of online motivation, Prince EA. Now, if by some stroke of fate you haven't heard of Prince EA, I promise you that your aunt or uncle on Facebook definitely has. With a combined reach of 275 million billion people on YouTube and Facebook, uh, he's definitely one of the largest, if not the largest, influential, motivational, spoken word guys on the internet. Are you guys stupid? I'm the boss, and you all must do what I say. You're right, sir. You are the boss. What, newbie? I said you're right, sir. You are the boss. Oh, wait a second. I have a mean boss I don't like. But have you ever heard of a world boss? Uh, I haven't. Or is it world leader. Don't you see it? A leader is who you should be. A boss is just meager. Well, the truth is, I lied. I'm not your employee, sir. Who are you? You're mine. I'm the founder of this company, and you need to learn a thing or two about our core meaning. Tomorrow morning, first thing, I'd like to see you at our board meeting. <laughs> Off. He told off the big boss. Share, 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 retweet, share. Now the prince has about a billion videos like this. He's been doing this for years, and people lap it up. And if you're one of those people, you know, I get it. 
no shade, right? It is, at the end of the day, it's inspiration porn. It makes you feel good. It releases endorphins because it makes you feel inspired and woke for just a few minutes after you watch it. I'm not immune to it. You know, a Gary Vee video will come up in my feed once in a while. Nobody cares. It's slowing you down. You need to be happy. And I'll watch it and I'll be like, fuck this, I'm going to be CEO. And then three minutes goes by and I'm back to eating Pringles and watching reruns of Riverdale on the CW for some godforsaken reason and then go to bed a loser again. But Gary at least gives you practical, actionable advice based on his experience and observations where Prince EA is more like relatable fluff and platitudes. Like, well, let's take a look. 96 million views. Uh, every teenager needs to hear this. The people you are hanging out with are not your friends. Wait, they aren't? You have a gift inside of you. The more time you spend with these people, the less time you're gonna have to bring that gift. Okay, so some friends turn out to be shitty and try to surround yourself with good people. All that in five minutes set to beautiful piano music, two million shares, 96 million views. It's a, it's an incredible formula for making a ton of money. Now the Prince has been doing this a long ass time and there are some good messages you can extract from some of his videos, but there's about a billion cringe moments as well and it's not always what it seems with him on the surface. In fact, if you haven't seen them already, I highly recommend checking out this video from Boy in a Band and these two videos from Nerd City. Now Dave from Boyna Band delivered a research-backed, well-thought-out video where he talks about Prince EA's proclivity for spreading misinformation. Now at first glance it looks like he's spreading a good message, but underneath the surface there are some really fundamental things he's doing which struck me as seriously dodgy, and watching the video behind the angry thumbnail pushed me over the edge, so today I'm calling out Prince EA on several things I think he's doing wrong. Like telling people that are clinically depressed that they aren't depressed, it's just a passing cloud. You are not depressed. Stop saying that. You may be experiencing a depression right now, but you are not depressed. Turns out not a lot of people were thrilled about that one. See, you are the sky. Depression, frustration, sadness, these are passing clouds. They come, they go. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop you there. No, depression does not always go. See, it looks like you're mixing up this Wikipedia page with this one. He also makes a habit of loosely citing facts and studies to help drive his points home without ever offering any sources, so more than likely he's just fabricating them for impact. Did you know that in 10 years, depression will be the leading cause of death? Hang on, really? Even over heart disease or cancer? That seems really freaking high. Let me check his sources. Oh wait, there isn't one. Wait, is it here? Now what about under here? Behind this? Here? Where the hell is it? Did you know the average person spends four years of his life looking down at his cell phone? Wow, really? Well, I'd love to research this to contribute to the conversation, but I can't because you don't cite the frickin' source! And this made me wonder just how much scientific misinformation is this guy just casually throwing out there? So I started to check. Studies show the attention span of the average adult today is one second lower than that of a goldfish. Yeah, it turns out it was kind of a lot. Dave then goes on to criticize Prince EA for constantly fear-mongering to get a reaction, an emotional reaction out of people so they'll share his content. Prince EA makes things seem a lot worse than they actually are, so people get emotional enough to share it. Mr. Zuckerberg, not to be rude, but you should reclassify Facebook to what it is, an anti social network. His technology is bad message is one he loves to preach about to his millions of followers on Facebook, ironically using technology as the delivery vehicle and backbone of his career that's very lucrative in fact. He gives no sense of nuance to the argument and he often just totally lies. Around that same time my friend Nerd City made a video about him that acknowledges his reach. Dear future generations. 113 million plays! 114 million people watched the Super Bowl last year. The Super Bowl! 113 million people watch Prince E's video. He is the Super Bowl. But also digs a little more into his original passion for rapping. Stupid th Bruh. moving trash. <coughs> what was that? Maybe we heard you wrong. Why not rephrase that? I mean, you are the guy showing us slow motion inspirational scenes of gay weddings, right? That's you. Well, who's this guy? A pain in the ass, you f Ooh, that's not good. I'ma snatch off that cheap necklace and make you broke back Bruh. and see heaven like Heath Ledger. Now, I know people change, and I'm not the dig up an old tweet and cancel somebody type, but this transformation from rapper EA into spiritual journey in India and saving the world from the perils of technology, Prince EA, uh, is truly remarkable. We, we are all the same. We're all one, right? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Unless, of course, you just do the math on how much money this inspiration porn is making him, then it's then it's fairly obvious. So those videos were well done, highly suggest them, and it turns out the Prince 
is not too good at handling criticism. He was issuing copyright takedowns on videos that were clearly fair use. One like equals one prayer for this one. He also uploaded a response that ultimately just exposed his titanic sized ego for what it was, uh, which is fantastic because then Nerd said he made another 20 minute video uh, systematically dismantling it. But that was three years ago, which is like 33 internet years. And here we are, 2020, and the prince hasn't lost a step. He's still syndicating like 100 pieces of content a day across all his socials and people are still drinking it up. Now look, he works with a good team. The production value is great. And I think he's probably doing more good for people than he is bad. And at the end of the day, this is his hustle. You know, it's not my cup of tea, but I can't get mad at someone for securing the bag. Which is why when I found out the prince had created a brand new life school, I needed to know what kind of value he was bringing for that $9 a month paywall. Here we are, one month later, my wallet $9 lighter, and I haven't received a single goddamn piece of content! I've made countless attempts to contact them through email, through the phone number they provided to try and sort it out. I never got the confirmation text, and I waited a month. I'm not the type to just like run into one mishap and run and make a video, ooh, I'm getting scammed. No, I've spent the entire month trying to get this sorted so I could get the motivational content, and it's been radio silence. Here is the timeline, Wednesday, February 12th, I sign up for the Prince EA Life School and I'm charged $9. I don't get the confirmation text in the first five minutes as insinuated on the confirmation page of my purchase. So I wait two full days before writing my first support email to the contact section on his website. Three days later, still nothing. So I send another email to the support address listed on the receipt of my purchase. Four days later, still silence. So I say, screw it. I'll give these guys a call and we'll talk it out. I use the number that I've received on the receipt of my transaction. Wireless you are calling is not available. Oh. Please try again later. I just want to get something for my $9 for the love of God. Another three days goes by, still nothing. So this time I call again and I call again and I send another email, this time with a much more serious tone because I'm starting to get pissed. Whose ass do I have to lick to get some goddamn motivation? So it's been two weeks, I'm out nine bucks and not a single lick of motivation is showing up in my iMessage. And I've tried three different methods of contacting them to try and figure out what's going on and not a single person will respond. I can't get a hold of anyone and I don't know how else to contact them. Two more weeks later, I send a fourth email. At this point, it's a desperate plea because I don't know what to do at this point. It's almost been a month and I haven't gotten a damn thing for my nine hard earned dollars that I spent on this goddamn life school. <sighs> Four days later, March 9th, my final call attempt, and maybe this time around, you can understand where the passion in my response Son is coming from. Customer you are calling is not available. Please try it's again. fucking business hours, you... As the call party is temporarily unavailable. Give me my nine dollars back, you slut! So here we are. In another two days, I'm about to get charged for a second month. I don't know who to get in touch with, who to call, who to email. I don't know how to cancel. I, I, I don't know what to do. Congratulations, Leon. You know, in an attempt to make a cheeky video about Prince EA's life school, you done played yourself. And worst of all, I can't even show you guys what this school is all about. Cause I'm getting left in the cold over here. Fortunately, when I was on YouTube trying to research a few clips to pull for this video, I stumbled across this guy, Coffeezilla, who had the same idea I did. He actually does a lot of videos exposing like internet gurus and scammers and he's quite funny, I must say. I do I do enjoy uh, this video quite a bit, but he gives you a little taste uh, of what you get on the inside. His prices aren't too expensive. Uh, so I'm gonna actually call him not a, not a fake guru in the traditional sense of how we normally talk about fake gurus. To call it a school is just kind of silly because what he actually does is sends you like one minute inspirational Messages, audio messages. Here's Princey for a minute talking about breath. Talking about why you should breathe. Breath is life. No, really. <laughs> breath is life. I mean, without breath? No, really not, but okay. There is no life. Did you know that people with breathing <laughs> problems are more likely to have depression? It's true. See, breath dictates your mindset and your mood. 
maybe they're depressed because they have breathing problems. Not that their breathing problems are making, <laughs> you know? Like, I'm depressed because my asthma sucks. I can barely <gasps> breathe. So his review turned out similar to how I imagined mine would have turned out. <laughs> anyway, this guy also runs a YouTube channel called Coffee Break where he does some pretty in-depth, independent investigative journalism uh, that I found really interesting. Um, I'm gonna link, you know, these the videos from this video uh, in the description. I'll link this guy. Check him out. I think he's funny. Uh, you know, I like to find new YouTubers from time to time. And I can certainly get on board with people putting a beat down on these fake internet gurus trying to scam people for all they're worth. So that's it. I'm about to get charged another nine dollars. Uh, I haven't received a fucking thing, and I don't know how to cancel. So <laughs> if that's not value, I don't know what is. Thank you, Prince EA, for motivating me to never again sign up for dumb shit I don't need on the internet. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing. I'll see you all in the next episode of How to Waste Nine Dollars. I appreciate you. Peace. Yeah.